For this section of our demonstration, we're going to have a look at Outlook and the way that Business Central can connect to Outlook. Okay. So if we imagine that we've got an email from one of our customers, in this instance, a datum, what we can do as part of our finance function, if we're not wanting to create invoices before doing a bit of due diligence on where we are up to with the customer, then we can go into Business Central and we can click on Contact Insights. And what will happen is Business Central will look to the customer information contained in the email and it will bring up their customer account within Business Central. What we can see is details on the balance they have at the moment. And then we can check to see whether anything is due. Now, with this particular customer, we can see that they do have a balance of 15,500, um, but none of that's due yet. So we can then proceed to creating invoices if we want to. But there's a couple of other things to note about the, uh, the connection to Business Central as well, as it also gives us a shortcut into um, customer history, what we've got ongoing with them at the moment as a handy shortcut. So if I click on posted sales invoices, it will take us through to the, the most recent interactions we've had in form of posted sales invoices to make up that balance that that we see with the customer there and then moving a little bit further down we've got some more intricate statistics on total sales and um, payments made you know and, and so on so it's a really good place to start without actually having to log into business central um, to do as i say a bit of due diligence prior but if we want to we can then go into create an invoice straight from outlook there um, by clicking on sales invoice um, or we could even create a, a credit memo if the email is to do with a, a credit that is due um, to the customer as well so there's a lot that we can initiate from business uh, from Outlook before then going into Business Central. Okay. To order Dynamics 365 licenses or to sign up to a 30 day free trial, navigate to d365.link forward slash now.